so this is Slava. Hello. And this is Miriam. Hi, and welcome to Crook Expedition Project Rhino. And what can you say about the inside of this vehicle? Yeah, this is our smallest vehicle. Mm -hmm. yeah, so the cabin length is 4 meter 30. And uh, with this uh, cabin size and the base vehicle, we are uh, below 7.5 tons. Yes. And what is the payload at present? Payload is around about 500 kilos. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And so that is obviously we've got... Uh, what about the technical side? Let's start with the power. So on the roof, what? how much solar are we looking at? So we have uh, around about 900 watt peak solar power. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, the base battery capacity is uh, 300 uh, amp hours. Mm -hmm. So it's extendable to 900. Um, it's a modular system. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I can show you. Okay, great. Like. Yeah, sure. Here. This is wow! Well, that's quite impressive, really. From, by lo looking at the uh, <laughs> looking at the system, can maybe explain a bit more about what's happening here? Yeah, we have here a base unit for the full power supply. Yeah. And, uh, uh, consists of the, the battery package, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. up to three uh, modular battery units can can be placed here, uh, and then we have here battery management system mm -hmm. for the safety operation of the lithium ion batteries. We have here the the charge unit for the batteries mm -hmm. uh, and the uh, solar control. Um, the units for, for charging the, the batteries from the solar power. We have the, the whole um, fuse uh, system here and base uh, switches for switch off the completely system. And uh, yeah, it's concentrated in the like uh, in box, let's say. Yes, yes, excellent. Okay, now what about the water system? Yeah, water system we have on the opposite side, under the seat, mm -hmm. we have uh, 280 fresh, uh, 280 liters fresh water, mm -hmm. and uh, then we have 180 liters grey water tank. Yeah, yeah. And for the toilet, how does that work? This is our dry toilet, mm -hmm. it's uh, from, from separate. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, yeah, the toilet system is completely without uh, chemical stuff mm -hmm. or uh, additional water and is, uh, is needed for this, yeah. Yeah, okay. And uh, now, the, um, I see it's, it's, it's gas-free. Yeah, the, the whole unit is completely gas-free. It's uh, uh, complete. The, the, the cooking uh, unit is uh, electrical mm -hmm. and the heating uh, of the whole unit is uh, air heating which is uh, on diesel. Yeah, yeah. And so it's the same as the, the engine tank? Yes, yeah, it's the yeah. same tank. Yeah. And uh, very good. Excellent. So you've designed this for two people to use. Yeah. And, uh, so where do people go? Where have clients gone in this van? That's a really good question actually. So people go all around the world in crook expedition trucks. And specifically with the smaller trucks, they prefer to maybe explore Europe. Um, of course, Morocco is one of the key destinations to start uh, to get a first taste of off-roading. Um, and then, you know, there is actually no limit. Uh, we had, uh, you know, families uh, and couples explore Scandinavia, um, uh, you know, up to the North Cape. Uh, then Georgia is also a country uh, that at least last year was quite uh, on top of the hit list of countries to visit um, us. Now it seems that Africa is favored by many. Um, and this is definitely a prime destination. Okay, and uh, what about materials? Mm -hmm. 
So this is also um, one trait uh, that Cook Expedition offers a wide range of treasures for interior materials. So upholstery is either fabric or leather. Um, we are standing on uh, high quality vinyl flooring and then we have a special countertop uh, materials which is uh, also it's artificial material um, but it's extremely durable and um, made in the most ecological way possible small footprint so this is also something that we are quite um, emphasizing on we have the stainless steel uh, wash basin in the kitchen and um, then also this seems to be also a very durable our sink. own yes a sink in the bathroom so inside um, it's the chief key panel um, that is uh, painted in white mm -hmm. and also the outside colors the exterior color can be chosen by the client um, in the mm -hmm. raw color scheme yeah prefer yeah mm -hmm. And uh, I see up here we've got the uh, control panel. Yeah, this is our central control panel. So as you can see the actual state of the whole system of the water tanks, the volume and uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's concentrated on, on the one, one panel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about the uh, water filters in, in the water system? Yeah, we have here additional water filter system with additional water tap. tap. Yeah, and uh, so the, the water from the fresh water tank uh, will be filtered on this way with the um, UV um, unit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I think we believe that, you know, the water system is crucial, as is the electricity, of course. Mm -hmm. But um, it's important to have, um, you know, uh, water filters in place where people can feel safe to use uh, the water for drinking and cooking. Mm. Yes, particularly if them from the places you, you, you mentioned. Exactly, yeah. yes. Yeah. Maybe you can feel it now, uh, so the temperature inside. So we don't have here uh, air condition. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have a very good insulation of the whole panel. So the, the um, temperature inside mm. is uh, with our fans yeah, mm -hmm. can be regulated very good uh, during uh, high outside temperatures or also mm -hmm. during the cold season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, because today it is uh, it is very hot and it's forecast to get hotter, but there certainly is a difference between yeah. outside and mm -hmm. in here. Yeah, it's quite comfortable actually. Yeah. 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 And so the big fridge, maybe yeah, sure. Definitely, Vitri Frigo is a premium product. Mm -hmm. um, with a separate fridge and freezer unit. Yeah. And uh, below, of course, there is storage <coughs> for drinks and uh, at oh, the moment good. specifically stocked for Amto and Arirat. Mm hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Our freezer's empty. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute, actually. <laughs> more ice. Good. Yeah. Super! Very oh, and the safety windows as well. Yeah. And uh, oh, and how do what about the the the, uh, the storage? Uh, Very easy to use. Um, this is also a, here you get a good view of the electrical. The electrical wiring. Wires. It's, uh, mm -hmm. Everything is easy accessible. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, we have a storage space. We have a big uh, garage. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for two is more than enough. Yeah. Great. Super. Let's check out the outside. Have a look in the big garage. Oh yeah, it's an enormous garage. This is with the grey water tank with yeah. the electrical uh, flush. Yes, with the, yeah, yeah. With the uh, get rid of the water. Yeah, yeah. it's everything uh, here con controlled here. You have additional power supply for 24 volts to, to, uh, to use some stuff. Uh, and um, then we have here shower access with yeah. cold and warm water supply. Um, 
yeah, lighting, UTPB. And uh, and down here. And down here, we have a, uh, like a place for the outdoor kitchen. Yeah. yeah. So you can use this flexible this food. Yeah. Still. Stick your barbecue on there. Yeah. Yeah. You have a power supply for some electrical stuff yeah. for the kitchen. Yeah. Should it be necessary? Very good. That's great. So here we are standing in front of uh, Project Rhino and I'd like to let you know why uh, there is a Rhino decal on the Rhino. Um, it's because we are actually supporting a South African conservation called Mkombe Rhino and with every Rhino, Project Rhino, rented or sold, there is a fixed amount that supports this organization and uh, they are doing really pioneering groundwork in uh, conserving different species of animals and uh, there is also a focus on rhinos and we love them and we, we want to support them um, and we will support them for the long term um, so maybe yeah tune in to another uh, session with Ellen at some point uh, where we have Joe Peterson of Mkombe Rhino uh, on a live call to explain the situation the current situation in South Africa now so and the uh, project Rhino is also available for long-term rent. Um, it's between three and ten years. Uh, and this is actually a fantastic opportunity for people to use such a car, such a truck, to use such a truck uh, and, and go on the trip of their dreams um, that can also be a little bit longer. Uh, and rental actually includes uh, a complete uh, insurance coverage, all repair and maintenance is included. Um, and best of all, those trucks, they are available now.